we are guys, Sector 29. Hidden adventure. Wow, this part of the park is big. Wonder if this is the expansion of Jurassic World. Seems like it. Yes, it is. Scout spy said to land this chopper at Fort Jurassic. Demo man did say something about engine using one of my inventions. I'd like to see where it is. I'll be waiting to see it soon. Oh, and all this place looks beautiful. Well, guys, looks like this is Fort Jurassic. Look at this place. Damn. It's like a whole military base. Looks wonderful. Since this is a big part, we have to have a bigger base. Soon as we land, you all can explore out. I have to get to work with Dr. Henry Wings and others. All right, prepare for landing. Welcome back, guys! How's sight be? Well, it was good and we were successful. Great! Come with me, guys. We have a lot to show you. So how did Jurassic Park San Diego go? Me and Spy observed what they have there after that. We managed to bring some to this park. And better yet, we've also had deliveries of dinosaurs from sight be. I see this park is a bigger wagon and a bigger aviary. Although, what does this park if that's different from the other one? Well, you see, we've recreated the Jurassic Park for Explorer Tour. We also have a lot more amenities and other stuff and things. Where's Heavy and Alan? Heavy and Alan decided to stay back at the regional park, but they'll be coming if there's an emergency. Spy Eye is currently working at the control center, making sure everything's in check. Interesting. I see this park is also crowded. Well, this park is brand new and just opened not too long ago, so of course it'd be crowded. So it's an Oligon, another Mosasaurus. No, we figured we wanted something new and more variety of other sea reptiles. Oh, this cool, could we check them out? Yes, but first I want to show you something. Is that? Yep, the visitor center from the first Jurassic Park. We rebuilt it and decided to raise it. Besides the innovation center, there's also the visitor center too for the price of one. Wow, well, well, I never thought we'd see it again. All right, we're entering the lagoon for a start, Miss Jack, and to show you all what we have. All right, let's go. Okay, dunes are alive, let's go! Where are they? Just give me a moment to look, they're somewhere! So, how uh, many species are in the lagoon? Three of them brought in total of 12 million reptiles! Well, what kind they have in the water? We have Stizosaurus, Chromosaurus, and a couple of Plesiosaurus! Here comes one! Oh my Holy God. crap! Holy Mary Mother of Joseph! Howling doody! I see you have bigger nessies. That's a Styxosaurus, lad! One of the largest land Nexi reptiles from the late Cretaceous! Its fossil was from Hell Creek in Logan County, Kansas. Styxosaurus is named for the mythological river Styx, which separated the Greek underworld from the world of the living. The Saurus part comes from the Greek Saurus, meaning lizard and reptile. The large is a small sir, with a long neck measuring about 5.25 meters, which is 17.2 feet in total and reach 10.5 meters, which is 34 feet in length and 23 metric tons in body mass. Wait, is that the Chronosaurus? Yes, lad, although sometimes people get confused in the Liopurodon. All tuffets are aquatic reptiles from the early Cretaceous. Its name means these are the Kronos. We all know in mythology, Kronos was a titan of time in Greek. It had an elongated head, short neck, a stiff body propelled by four flippers, and a relatively short tail. The posterior flippers were larger than the anterior. Kronosaurus was carnivorous and had many long, sharp conical teeth. A feature of the genus Chronosaurus is that the first three maxillary teeth are enlarged to fangs. For the first time in my life, I'm at a loss for words. 
You seem I have to own it. It's beautiful. I'm guessing your time and the guns been warming up to you, mate. Yes, even though planets have not taken me, me never look at the deep depths the same again. I have to admit this is rather peaceful. Alright lads, let's get to the tour. So we're right next to Ford Explorer. Yes, we have more new species of dinosaurs and engineers' invention seems to be working there. Did they even test it yet? The lot they did and they said it worked really well. Engineer, what are you both talking about? Well, you all will see once we get there. Come on, move it up! Bloody hell! Move it, lads! This is the place! Yes, Scott! You guys go in and have fun. I have to report back at the lagoon and help I game around some stuff and things. Also, be sure to watch the safety video before you ride. All right, see you later, demo. All right, boys, let's get in line. I can't wait to ride. Me too. I wonder what dinos we have here. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World Hidden Adventures Safari Tour. I, I, shall now give you the counsel to seek out a marvelous adventure. Once you're seated in the safe and sound, please fasten your seatbelts attached into the seat, simply pulling it from the right, inserting it into the left, like so. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the car at all times, and be sure to watch your kids. On your tour, please do not feed the dinosaurs. Not only it may be harmful to most, but some of our dinosaurs might find you as their next meal. Please do not leave your tour vehicle and wander off into the paddocks. When entering the tour, remain seated if any herbivores, like the Triceratops, starts attacking your vehicle. Do not panic and remain seated. Our tour vehicles can handle the force of many powerful animals. But for safety reasons, remain calm and quiet and grab a walkie-talkie placed on the back of your vehicle and contact the Jurassic World security and we will play a frequency in your car speakers that will scare the, any hostile herbivore. If you have an emergency, please contact the Jurassic World Control Center using your walkie-talkie placed in the back of the vehicle. After contact the control center, push the emergency stop button on the dashboard, and your vehicle will be on a complete stop, and Jurassic World Security will escort you off the tour and back to the park. Remember, the emergency stop button is used for emergencies only. Using it without any emergencies can result in you being escorted off the tour and potentially ban you from the park. Well my friends, the moment is drawing near. I'm already envious of the wonders that awaits you as you'll be cruising to a time when dinosaurs rule the earth. Now stay seated, sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour. Later. All right, boys, seatbelts are on and we're ready. Looks like we're moving. I got some snacks and drinks while we're on tour. Well, not just that, but I got my camera ready for pictures. All know the flash is off. Engineer, what the invention that's gonna be in this tour? Well, you see, Scott, I've created something revolutionary. So we all know fences and walls sometimes blocks the way of the dinosaurs, right? Well, I invented something only for the carnivores and that's invisible fences. Wait, how can that be possible? Well, you see, I managed to make a transmitter placed in the control center. It sends a radio signal along the wire. 
The radio signal is picked up by the dinosaur's computer implant, which emits a warning sound when dinosaurs approaches the invisible boundary. During most of your tour, the appropriate information will be automatically selected and displayed for you. Simply touch the area of the screen displaying the appropriate icons. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Last one alive, lock the door! What they got in there? King Kong! You are now entering the lost world of the prehistoric past. Looks like they even have voice lines in these cars the too. The yeah, that's that you are pretty cool. To see for the first. Lister can just sit back and enjoy right, the ride. The Who wants some Dalekos blocks? I would like some. Me too. Pass some over, Scout. I'd like some chocolate bars. Now, there's an Ankylosaurus. That looks like bumpy. Yeah, that's nice. Are instantly recognizable. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. They're heavenly. Triceratops lived at the same time as T-Rex. They were mortal enemies then, and they remain so to this day. The large bony frill and three horns served to make Triceratops one of the best known oh, Damn, that's a try! It's getting close, Alright, let's just not do anything and remain calm. It does seem aggressive, it's just passing by! Please remain calm. Whew, that was close! We are now approaching Spinosaurus Lagoon. Spinosaurus! And they actually brought it back even after it died to a pack of raptors. Wait, what are those small creatures? That looks like a Coelophysis. I didn't know they actually brought back one of the first dinosaurs of the Triassic period. A small theropod Coelophysis is one of the earliest dinosaurs to have walked the Earth, dating back 190, 225 million years to the Triassic period. Its name translates to hollow form, in reference to its hollow leg bones, as for the next dinosaur, the Spinosaurus. The fossil locations indicate that Spinosaurus lived in coastal regions with floodplains, swamp flats, and mangrove forests. For this reason, her diet has recently been supplemented with fresh fish. Spinosaurus also lived in North Africa and is among the largest known theropods and land carnivores to have ever existed. Well, are we heading to a bird cage? I don't know about this, boys. Let's just hope they don't attack the car. I hope so to make we should just stay calm. They probably want nothing to do with us. They may fly fast, but the American bald eagle is faster. We have now entered the Jurassic World aviary. Here we house pterosaur species. Here we house Pteranodons, Marodactylus, Quetzalcoatlus, Barbaridactylus, and Jehalopterus. Do not feed the flyers. Remain seated and do not leave your tour vehicle. Wow! Sweet land of liberty! That's a lot of flying reptiles. Let's just hope nothing happens to this bird cage. I think having it surrounded by glass system should have stick with Steve Wires instead like at the original park. Oh my good lord, that's a Giganotosaurus. That's one of the biggest carnivores the world has ever seen. Dear God, let's help us and the gen keep it under control, cause if that gigantic beach is out loose, goodness knows what would happen! People often confuse this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the Tyrannosaurus. They look similar, act similar, and both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working with them. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, if you find yourself running from this biggie, you've already made a fatal mistake. Oh, would you look at that? Herrerasaurus! Herrerasaurus is a relatively medium-sized, stocky, and powerfully built carnivore. The base genome of the Herrerasaurus is green, with yellowish stripes across its body. Unlike the other species of small carnivores, except Comsognathus, Herrerasaurus locks its jaws on small prey, especially goats, and uses its body momentum to wrestle it to the ground. Man, this tour is long, but this is getting interesting. Also, all those Allosauruses. Learn they are! 
I remember the time Allosaurus was out loose causing a muck in his little talking ass. Oh yeah, I remember that. We stopped it and put it back in the paddock. Those were good times. That was two years ago. I've been thinking of giving this particular Allosaurus a name. How about Big Al? Big Al, that's a good name for a big Allosaurus. Well, she's a big one. And sometimes when I look at her, has the face like she's never seen such bullshit before. <laughs> <laughs>